It was no surprise what the ongoing lockdown restrictions would have on house prices. I mean, it's in the name. Lockdown. We've locked in house prices to go down. When there's nobody allowed to enter Australia from overseas, and with some of the Australian state and territory borders still closed with internal travel restrictions still in place, potential property buyers are severely hampered when it comes to looking for a new house to buy outside of their immediate local vicinity. Case in point, Tasmania. This small island state has suffered during lockdown. Hobart property prices down 14%. Tasmanian sales fall by a quarter due to coronavirus impact. Not good for investors. Great for buyers. It should be noted, however, that Hobart's median house price rose 15.6% year-on-year for the December quarter 2019, which was the biggest capital city rise in the country. So this recent fall is simply wiping away most of those gains. Even Sydney house prices are in retreat. According to CoreLogic's rolling 28-day home value index, Sydney house prices have fallen for the first time since July 2019. They fell by 0.04% over the 28 days to May 18th, with the combined capital city house values dropping by 0.20%. This is the first negative monthly change in nearly a year. Sure, these values aren't exactly huge, but are they a sign of things to come? Melbourne house prices aren't looking very good either. National Australia Bank's Chief Economist Alan Oster expects Melbourne house prices to face significant falls over the next 18 months, with a 4.8% slip through 2020 and a further 3.6% fall in 2021. He expects Sydney to face similar falls. Brisbane is expected to face a 3.7% decline this year, with a whopping 8.6% decline expected in 2021. Perth will continue to experience falls of 1.2% this year and 3.5% next year. All in all, things aren't looking good for the Australian property market. A recent survey of 25 economists conducted by financial comparison website Finder predicted sharp drops in every state and territory. 58% of these economists declared that now is not the time to buy a house, with most of them predicting that the housing market won't bottom out until next year. Obviously, these are fairly conservative figures. Depending on who you ask, some economists are warning that house prices could fall as much as 50% with unemployment skyrocketing as the debt bubble is set to burst. Many renters are set to suffer as well. Currently, the government is propping up the rental market with unprecedented welfare payments. Half of Australia's workforce are currently on income support through increased job seeker and job keeper payments. There's also an eviction ban in place, with many of the big Australian banks offering landlords a pause on mortgage repayments. However, all of these benefits are due to expire in September this year. What will happen when renters' welfare payments are cut in half? What if they still can't find a job? What will they do when landlords insist they have to start paying back the rent? I mean, many landlords still have their own debts to pay back after all. I can only imagine one result. Disaster. In China, they're facing a whole different crisis. Since lockdown restrictions have started to ease, pollution levels have soared. If it's not coronavirus, it's lung cancer. What are your thoughts? Is the Australian property market on the brink of collapse? Are renters doomed for homelessness? Thanks for watching.